learns for this case study as we see how Mango compliance software has benefited Spunkem. Hey, my name is Tolozani Mbamadi. I'm a manufacturing and technical manager for Spunkem. I also oversee quality control. We've been using Mango since uh, it's been eight years now. Eight years. It's been quite effective. I mean, it's a, to us, it's a, it's a paperless system for one. So, because, you know, in terms of doing this uh, quality management system audits, we just use Mango, uh, it's live, and always store all our documents into Mango, and it's easy, it's easy to use. So it's easy to refer to as a system as a whole, between your procedures and actual compliance uh, registers, etc. So it's quite helpful. Yeah, we've been using yeah improvements, accidents, incidents, risks, uh, highlighting hazards and risks into our system or processes. So specifically on improvements, it, it's quite uh, user friendly for us, and it's improved our business in a sense that on daily basis. As you walk around the plant with your cell phone, uh, if you've got your app uploaded, so you can log in improvement uh, as quick as you can, and actions can be taken right, right there, right away. So you don't have to wait uh, to come to your desktop and sit down and then log in improvement. So it, it, you can check also uh, the stages of closure for the improvements, and uh, which is also. Uh, adding a lot of value to the business. I think it summarizes how the business is performing. So starting from our structure starts from the CEO. So the CEO can go to his dashboard and he can look at the, the, the settings in terms of uh, in terms of executive charts that is set up in the system. So you can see how the system performs, you know, whether it's he's looking at improvements or incidents, accidents. <coughs> so you can summarize the performance of the system as a, as a whole. Hi, I'm Wayne Salter, I'm the health and safety officer for Spunkem. Well, first of all, Mango, it's very structured, so it, it helps by, for instance, I mean, on the event manual, we can put in when medicals are required, when forklift training, health and, any health and safety training that's required. I can upload it, I can link it to employees' profiles. So it gives me dates and times of when training is due. Um, gives everything is paperless, so I can upload documentation to employees' profiles. So it will show the certificates, um, medicals, uh, it's just a very helpful tool and system to utilize. Well, it's helped to identify where we're having recurrences of uh, specific injuries like hand injuries. So it helps you to show you what areas to concentrate on um, in the company. So for instance, if, if a person is, if we're having a high incidence of cuts on the plant, then we can address that around the plant. Um, it's also, what's good is it's, it shows that people are utilizing the system by reporting from near misses to uh, minor incidents to major incidents and um, helps, helps us to keep the incident rates. Well, in the accident incident module, um, we capture the initial incident and then we assign the, the coordinator assigns it to an investigation team. The investigation team comprises of the supervisors, team leaders, the SHE reps, uh, the operators are working in the area and they perform an investigation and then all information is uploaded to that incident and um, you've got different stages so once it's been uploaded it moves to another stage and then the coordinator can assess whether he's happy or she is happy with the information that's been uploaded and if we are, if we know the investigation has been fully uh, addressed, um, action plans have been put out, um, we can close it off if we, if we have to.
My name is Eugene Peters. I'm a quality superintendent at Spunkin International. Okay, uh, log improvements for NCRs, customer complaints, improvements. Uh, it's actually very easy to use this clicker where it's a click and, and you just type in whatever you need. I use the plant and equipment module for calibration. So I don't have before previously had to manually uh, check when calibration is due, so now I don't even worry about it because it gives me a pop-up message when it's due. Okay. So then I can schedule a calibration for, for that particular machine that we have.